New questions have been raised about whether the former Leicester MP Lord Janna is fit to stand trial over historical child sex allegations. It's emerged that the peer voted more than 200 times in the House of Lords, despite giving his children power of attorney. One man who told the police that he was abused has called for the release of Greville Janna's medical records. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball reports. There was, of course, not a shred of truth in any of the allegations of criminal conduct made against... It's 24 years since Greville Janna spoke in Parliament to deny that he'd been a child abuser, but now there's a growing row over whether those allegations could have been tested in court. The role of civil society is important. He stopped voting in the House of Lords in 2013 because he was suffering from dementia, but that was more than four years after his children were granted power of attorney, and one leading child abuse lawyer says the disparity raises serious questions if he was voting in the House of Lords, that suggests that there is uh, some capacity to at least make a decision. However, on the other hand, he's completely unable to uh, stand trial because he suffers from dementia. So because of the various pieces of information, there appears to be a, a conflict of evidence. Ray's one of dozens of men who told Leicestershire police they were sexually abused by the peer as children. The Director of Public Prosecutions agreed there was evidence to charge Lord Janner, but decided he wasn't fit to stand trial. Today, that's prompted a call from another alleged victim for the release of his medical reports. The Director of Public Prosecutions has seen those reports. She's based her decision on those reports, but victims and survivors can't understand so if we saw those reports and, you know, we knew who the medical experts were, it would probably make her decision more understandable. Lord Janna's family are standing by him and they've made it clear they don't believe the child abuse claims, but they're allegations that look unlikely to disappear. Jeremy Ball, BBC's Midlands Today.